Hey, what's going on guys? Uh, I wanted to come out with a little quick, fun little video. Uh, finals is almost over. I have one more, which is tomorrow. And then I'll be able to start pumping out a lot of YouTube videos. I'm gonna fucking be on the grind this summer. I'm gonna try to do one every day this summer once I finish finals. That's the goal. I just wanna push myself, you know, think outside the box, get creative. Um, you know, cause your boy's 25. And I'm a junior now in college, which is crazy. I never thought I'd even, you know, fucking be a veteran and then be a junior also in college at a university. But like I've said, as always, it was the Navy that got that started. You know, right when I joined after high school, it set me on this path to where I am today and it's fucking awesome. Me and Sirius Black here, we want to go over some Navy lingo. You know, just a fun, quick little video some things that, some terms that I think you guys need to know about, you know, or that are interesting or funny. There's descriptions, you know, on the internet for Navy lingo, but a lot of it's really like, not really what it actually is. It just says it kind of. All right, the first term is Exo's happy hour. Exo's happy hour is on, it's on, a, it's on the ship. It's when you're out uh, deployed. When I was on my carrier, on both carriers, the Lincoln and the George Washington, we had Exos happy hour in the morning. I want to say between like 0800 and 0900. What it was is literally you just clean the same fucking spot every single morning for an hour. Like you have to clean. If you're an E5 or below, you're fucking cleaning. The only people that don't really clean are the LPOs. They get to chill in the shop and like, you know, do paperwork or whatever. But uh, mostly everybody else has to fucking clean. All right, this next one is WOG. Now, uh, WOG is short for polywog. It's what most of you guys are, I'm assuming, that are watching this. Most of y'all are little fucking slimy ass, stinky polywogs. Because to not be a WOG, a polywog, you gotta be a shellback. And to be a shellback, you have to go through the crossing the line ceremony. And to go through the crossing the line ceremony, you have to fucking cross the equator, sail across it on the ship, all right, this next term is vert rep. Vert rep stands for vertical replenishment. Now, what that is is basically when all the helos, we do vert reps, and it's how we get a lot of our goods on and off the carrier. So it could be food, it could be supplies, tools, anything. Um, we mostly use the helicopters and the cargo nets, and we do vert reps. You know, that's how you get all your shit. All right, TAD. This is gonna be a common one when you're uh, when you first join. You're gonna hear you're gonna go TAD, bro. You're going TAD to the galley. You're gonna wash those fucking dishes for three months straight. Uh, TAD is temporary assigned duty. Most junior enlisted will go TAD at some point or another. Um, the people that I didn't go TAD, the people that I didn't see go TAD, were people that were like really, really shit hot and like that were mandatory personnel that were needed in the work center. If not, all the junior sailors mostly get shipped off to TAD, which means. On the ship, you'll be sent to the galley to wash dis dishes for three months. You could be sent to the laundry room. Uh, the laundry room, it's fucking hot, but you can make money doing that shit um, if you do people's laundry. Uh, you could be sent to supply. You can be sent, I was sent on base, I was sent as like a fucking delivery driver. Like I dropped off aircraft parts at different squadrons around the base for like six hours a day. But most of the time I got to chill. And my, that was my T-80 for like three months. So I got fucking hooked up. But if you're on a ship, most T-80s fucking suck. And you just gotta, everybody has to do it. Mostly everybody, like I said. So just stick through your fucking T-80. Don't bitch. Don't complain. And then you'll, you'll be back, you know, in your shop and work center. Also, if you want to be a fucking good ass shit hot sailor, while you're T-80, work on your fucking quals from your shop. Work on your aviation war warfare pin or your surface warfare pin. Work on, you know, try to get ahead while you're TD and you come back and be like, hey, I learned all this shit already. And they'll be like, damn dude, fucking Joe Schmo here is on top of his shit, Joe Schmo. Joe Schmo's gonna get an EP eval. Joe Schmo is gonna fucking rank up. All right, we got SIQ, which means sick in quarters, which means you're malingering and you're being a little bitch and you're faking it to get a day off. Now that's what everybody thinks. When somebody's SIQ, you're like, oh man, that motherfucker's SIQ. Must be nice to be fucking SIQ and not have to come into work and get to fucking sit at home all fucking day or in your barracks room playing Call of Duty. No, but uh, it just means sick in quarters. If, you, if you're actually like really sick and go to medical, they'll be like, okay, you, you have to be SIQ. 
uh, here's the SIQ shit, and then you just fucking take it to your command, you're like, hey, I can't come to work, I'm sick as fuck, medical says so, and then you just stay home for however many days it says. In boot camp, if you're SIQ, uh, they just, you just stay in your rack, you know, if like you get a flu or like a fever or like you get really hurt or something and you need to recover for a couple days in boot camp, then they'll just have you lay in your rack all day, all day. You're stuck in that bitch. Nuke it. Nuke it is a pretty common one. I've said nuke it a lot. It just means somebody that overthinks it. Usually nukes have a really high ASVAB score and they're really intelligent because you have to be to be a fucking nuke and mess with a nuclear reactor. That's fucking nuts. Uh... But yeah, normally they overthink tasks. You know, in boot camp, they'll be the ones that are overthink everything, simple tasks, and fuck shit up. And you'll be like, don't nuke it, bro. What the fuck? Mid rats. Mid rats is the shitty fucking food. Mid rats is when, uh, is the, so you have, you know, like your breakfast, which would be 06 to 0830 on the ship. You'll have lunch with, from like 10 to 1230. Then you'll have dinner from like 1600 to 1830 and then you have mid rats mid rats is all the fucking nasty ass leftovers or like hot dogs or cheeseburgers but like it's not good and they feed you mid rats is from like 11 to 1 in the morning it's for the people that work night night check because you know on a ship it's 12 on 12 off so night check usually works 1600 to zero six about so you work yeah all fucking night from six at night to six in the morning 12 on 12 off dude there's good things though there's good things though about being on night check you know you have day check which is you know you have a normal sleeping schedule you get to be out in the sun you're not you don't turn into like a fucking vampire but the good thing about night check is you don't have to deal with all the chain of command you don't have to deal with the chiefs you don't have to deal with most of the officers and if you're in the Persian Gulf, then it's actually a good thing because it's not going to be as fucking hot being out in the sun. Also, you can see the fucking badass night skies at night on night check. You see like the, the, all the stars, all the galaxies and whatever. It's crazy. LSE. LSE is what I was. I was a landing signalman enlisted for my squadron. So I was up on the flight deck every single day launching and recovering helicopters. Um, on and off the flight deck for our squadron, uh, for, you know, other ships that would send helicopters over. I recovered a fucking CH-53. I recovered, uh, British helicopters. I recovered an Australian helicopter. Uh, I fucking did it all. I, I recovered one of the fucking, um, Ospreys. Holy shit. Yeah, LSE is a badass job. If you get part of a Hilo squadron, you can become an LSE. And it's like the funnest thing I ever fucking did. Also, if you want to be a shooter, uh, the ones that wear the checkered shirts on the flight deck, they, those are with F-18 squadrons. Or uh, like your VFA-22, VFA-118. Um, those are just troubleshooters, basically. So they're kind of like an LSC. Like the, they're the ones that put their thumbs up and hold on to the pad eye. And when the jet is like in full tension on the, on the um, catapult, the shooters are the ones that are right behind it on each side of the exhaust, put, sticking their thumbs up with the checkered shirts on. Those guys are basically just checking to make sure all the flight controls are good, um, there's no leaks, and then they give the thumbs up, and then you have your yellow shirt, which is mostly, which is usually an officer, and he's the one that does all this and shoots the plane off the deck. Um, but yeah, those guys are fucking sick. Right, knee knockers, knee knockers are, uh, they're not actually up to your knees. Basically, when you go through a port, or when you go through a hatch on the ship, um, or from frame to frame, they have just these little things that come up from the ground, you know? Because you have like a, the door is like watertight. I don't know how to explain it. Basically, I'll show you a picture, but the knee knocker is just the bottom of the, of a door, of the watertight door, and it comes up off the ground. And you kind of have to like step over all of them. You have to step over each one. And um, I guess back in the day they were called knee knockers because they were like really fucking tall. But now they're, you know, just up to your ankles. But you'll have people eat shit. Like you'll see when they call the flying squad on the ship. The flying squad is basically all the people that are like the damage control men. They're the ones that respond to emergen emergencies on the ship. So they're sprinting down the P-ways. And they, they're like fucking running and like hurtling these fucking knee knockers. And some of those dudes, like I saw one dude just fucking whack. Just fucking ate shit, fucking face planted. 
Yeah, be careful with the knee knockers. I just looked at the fucking uh, time on this video, and it's this video is already going to be long as fuck, so I think I'm just going to do this. Papa's already asleep. I'm going to do this in part one and like a part two, so I guess this will be part one of the Navy Lingo video. As always, social media and links down below. Uh, many more videos to come this summer. I'm going to be fucking grinding, trying to do a video every day once I finish finals. Which is tomorrow, my last final. Uh, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye! Bye, Papa! Say bye, Papa! Later, dudes.